Society. I'm absolutely delighted to unveil this painting of Robert Owen on his 250th birthday. He was the founder of cooperation and a man of great integrity. Today we're celebrating 250 years since the birth of one of the founding cooperative fathers, Robert Owen. Robert Owen was a truly inspirational man. He dedicated his life to fairness, especially to workers. So all of us working today have a great debt of gratitude to Robert Owen for the conditions that we now take for granted. His inspiring ideas led the way to socialism, trade unions and education for all. We're delighted at Central England Co-op to be living the vision of Robert Owen through our purpose, creating a sustainable society for all. Like myself, Robert Owen did not believe in corporal punishment. He believed in motivating people by giving them rewards for good behaviour and acknowledging good work. And he developed the monitor system whereby people were allocated different colours shown by their sides on a little bell like this at the side of them to how they had behaved on any particular day. One of the concepts that Robert Owen introduced was the principle that labour was the source of all wealth. And he did this through the creation of the National Equitable Labour Exchanges, which were formed in London and other cities, and sadly did fall away after some years. But the creation of those offices in this principle reflected the fact that labour and work has a value. And that concept is as true today uh, as it was then, and is fundamentally in line with our cooperative values and principles. When Owen took over the mills in New Lanark, he refused to allow any child under the age of 10 to work. He also reduced the number of hours for the older children. Eventually, he was famous for bringing in the eight hour day and it proved that production was just as successful on limited hours. Owen's slogan was eight hours labor Eight hours recreation. Eight hours rest. There's just a few words as to why we're celebrating the, the 250th birthday of Robert Owen in Belper. Belper is a cotton town in the Derwent Valley, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. First mill was built by Arkwright, Richard Arkwright and Strutt in 1771. After a number of years, in 1781, they dissolved their partnership because Arkwright wanted to expand further up into Derbyshire and Strutt wanted to do it in a different way. He wanted to be a bit more benevolent than Arkwright. And he opened his mills in Belfort. Unfortunately, in 1804, the mill burnt down, as did many of the early mills, because they were built out of wood. But his son, William, came up with a design for a, mi a mill that was fireproof, with a metal frame like a skyscraper and solid floors. Shortly after this, William Strutt became an acquaintance of Robert Owen, and they met many times, and he came to stay in Bell for many times. And he also came to the Derby Philosophical Society. So he had very close connections with, with this country, and he appreciated the way in which the Struts um, conducted their business, because it was with sim similar benevolence to the way 
They did. Happy birthday, Robert, Robert Owen. Owen. Cheers.